A lot more than changing the way we do business, they're also changing our posture. And Dr. Guy Bahar is here to help us keep us in line. And I feel like I'm standing up extra straight. I know I have problems. I'm always leaning forward like that. And that's something called forward head posture? That's correct. Okay, and you're seeing a lot more of this in your practice. Oh yes, it's becoming very pervasive right now, given that with the black, between Blackberries and laptops and the massive amount of texting and Twittering people are mm -hmm. doing, it's just the natural inclination. Right, it's just to kind of like lean over, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and work on your stuff, okay. But they maintain that posture for such a long intervals during the day, it's what leads to the problem. Okay, so, and that can lead to all kinds of, it can lead to like actually a little bump on your back, right? Yeah, that, that's actually a dowager's hump that caused from a chronic forward head position where the bones can actually tease Right, them. which we used to see in, in elderly people, and now you're seeing it in younger people. Under 30 even. Okay, mm -hmm. so you're going to do a little test on my posture now. Yep. I know it's bad. Yep. <laughs> so yeah. let's It's, it's let's one see. to simply show people at home that they can test each other, and really what you want to do is you want to see the distance that's actually happening between the center of the ear and the center of the shoulder. So we look at the seam of the shoulder, we line our hand up over here, we line our hand up at the center of the ear, and we can see she has about two inches of both forward head posture. And that can be clinically quite significant. Ooh, okay, so that's the bad news. What's the good news? Is there any way to stop The good this? news is, but people have just two things that people understand about posture is it can be corrected. Mm -hmm. It can be corrected by time and training over a period of time. And the second thing is to know is that it's not something as simple as, oh, I can just stand up straight because people's attention when you bring it to mind will be stood up straight. And that's what I did as soon as you came in. I'm like, oh, exactly. gotta be straighter, right? But that's not gonna help. No, because you can only hold that for a few moments. Right. And it's just not gonna feel natural. But by correcting the posture through detecting Protecting it and actually training the alignment of the spine to acquire it back to its normal alignment, your body can in time maintain that position. Okay, is this a matter of exercises then? That's going to incorporate it, but the primary thing is first to detect what causes the alignment to shift forward, mm -hmm. and then by isolating those individual segments, training them to move back into a desired position that you can maintain naturally without even having to think about it. Okay, and you're, you're a chiropractor, so this is mm -hmm. obviously chiropractic treatment then you're talking yeah, about. but there's more than just that. There's the exercise exercise component and yeah. something that I've actually pioneered called a molding technique where you actually lie down and let gravity mold your body into the desired position by training your shoulders to come back and your head to come back as okay. well. Okay. Is this something like a, almost like a foam thing then that you're laying on and you're just going In a matter of speaking, back. yes. Okay. But you, you combine that with a therapy and you're actually training the body to acquire a new position. Okay, and is that something you'd sleep on then, or is Not it... Not necessarily. Like, we find that 20, 30 minutes a day will actually reverse the effects of six, seven hours okay. forward. Good to know as we're on our laptops and Blackberries all day. Dr. Bahar, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, we've got more news coming up right after this. I'm not touching my Blackberry. <laughs>